Hello everyone, my name is Said. In this video, I'm gonna explain the notion of convex hull using the notion of convex combination of two points. And then I'm gonna introduce you the significance and properties of convex hull and the importance of convex hull in convex optimization. To understand the convex hull, we have to understand the notion of convex combination of two points. First, I'll give you an example which is the easiest example on real line. Let's say we have x1 and x2 on real line. Convex combination of these two points is all points between x1 and x2. Mathematically, we write this set as the convex combination of these two points. The other way of thinking of convex hull of two points is weighted average. Weighted average of these two points using uh, weights lambda and one minus lambda is this ratio but we don't write the denominator of the ratio because always the summation of weights is equal to one now if we generalize that notion to points in Rn and a set that contains all points in Rn we get convex hull of a set C denoted by conv of C which is a linear combination of points in C such that all the coefficients are non-negative and summation of all coefficients is equal to 1 that is the notion of convex hull here is an example of a convex hull using a set C that contains three points in R2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. These three points has a convex hull, which is this triangle. But the point is, how can we get this triangle using these three points? First, let's say, for example, let's say we want to get point A, which is 1 and alpha. To build this point, we first build point B, which is alpha times 1, 1, which is one of our points. And we have to then add this much to point B to get point A. And this much is 1 minus alpha. If we multiply 1 minus alpha to point 1, 0, which is this point then we're done and we get point a now if you see the coefficients theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 you see that the summation of these three coefficients is equal to 1 and we have a convex combination of three points in r2 which is a convex hull of our set the properties of convex hull are very very nice because we can resort to them and build convex sets that are very useful in convex optimization problems the first property of convex hull is that convex hull of any set is convex and the second one is convex hull of a set is the smallest convex set that contains the underlying set if the set is convex, the convex hull of that convex set is the convex set. But if the set is not a convex set, the convex hull of that set is the smallest set that contains the underlying set. For example, this set that has four points in R2 is not a convex set because the line segment between two points is not in the set. But the convex hull of this set is a convex set and is the smallest set that contains these four points in R2. Finally, the notion of convex hull in convex optimization problem. But what is convex optimization problem? Convex optimization problem is a problem that has a convex function as its objective and constraint set as its constraint or physical set. But what is why convex optimization problem is important? Because it is easily to uh, it is easily solvable, and we can put this convex optimization problem into MATLAB or Python and solve this using 
CVX package. But I'm gonna show you a problem which is not a convex optimization problem, but I change it to a convex optimization problem using the notion of convex op. Assume we have this minimization problem, which is an optimization problem, but it's not a convex optimization problem. Why? Because C, which is union of C1 and C2, is not a convex set, but the cost function is convex set. How can we solve this problem? We can use the notion of convex hall and connect these two points together to get a set which is bigger and call this set C and solve this problem which is the convex optimization problem with the same cost function and the convex set. We call this problem relaxation of this problem and we solve this problem as a convex optimization problem. This is all about the convex hall. I hope you're enjoying this video and thank you for watching me.